This movie changed the way I looked at pumpkins forever. What's up everybody, Tony here from Kapowcast, back with another NECA toy review. Today we're taking a look at the ultimate Sam figure from Trick or Treat, or Trick or Treat, or however you want to say it, I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat. As for box artwork, you got the look of the Trick or Treat poster, or one of the variants on the front here. Uh, you got Trick or Treat with Sam right there on the side, which is, that's a really cool, I think, that, uh, I don't think that's a product image, it might be a product image, I don't know, I can't tell, that's how good they are. But back here is definitely the product images. You got Sam with his little little candy can, little candy lollipop deal. Yeah, you got him unmasked, which that's always creepy. Got him eating, so on and so forth. Uh, you got same thing on the side there. You got trick or treat up at the top, and a bunch of uh, nonsense in the bottom there. And this is one of my favorite NECA boxes, the ones that open up so you can actually see the figure. Right there, you got some more product shots. Everything in this box seems to have like a kind of a weird, kind of almost a lenticular um, gloss over it, which is cool. And then you have your setup, which these ultimate figures, man, they, they are killing it because you get so many accessories for a solid price point of like 25, 30 bucks, somewhere roughly around there. Um, so you got multiple heads, multiple variations. The heads will take a closer look. Uh, I believe that's a prop. I don't ever remember his head exploding like so. You got his trick-or-treat bag, alternate hands, lollipop, can't tell what that is in the package. So enough of this, let's get it open. Okay, so first and foremost, we have our accessories in the pack, and let me tell you, these guys were vacuum sealed into that package like no other. I actually, had, this guy, I was taking him out and had to kind of get behind him and push him, and he went flying across the room, and then a cat took it. So then I had to chase after the cat. So we'll start from left to right here. We got a alternate head, for Sam, which that's pretty cool. And actually inside, you can kind of see there's actually one of these heads inside filling it out. So this is actually a softer, like plastic rubber kind of material. Um, right there you can see as well. Nice texturing as always, phenomenal look. You got the button eyes, the nice te texturing on the hood. Uh, you got these. Lovely drawstrings as well. Sick, sick. Love it. We got blood stains. NECA always kills it with the detail. That's why I'm such a big fan of him. You, like I said, you get you get all this all this magnificent action figure goodness at a price point that's not gonna destroy the bank. You got a another alternate head of Sam unmasked with uh, some pumpkin guts coming out from, I'm, I'm assuming, a, a gunshot. Fantastic. Sculpting is awesome. Obviously it looks like a pumpkin. Looks like this jaw might articulate as well. I'm not gonna force it because obviously NECA and their joints. So yeah, it articulates. So you get a little, little stupid grin on him, which is pretty fantastic. <laughs> This is actually kind of, this is a bit loose. Oh, there's a pumpkin seed in there. So you can actually kind of move it a little bit, but not a lot. You got just a average pumpkin that you can prop them up against. Once again, amazing, amazing, amazing. Attention to detail, you got the pumpkin bumps. Nothing, can't open it up though. Spectacular, or spectacular, if, uh, if you will. This one is actually really, really cool. I'm gonna have to turn off the lights for this, but we'll look at the, uh, the sculpting first. Obviously, once again, amazing attention to detail. You can actually see the texture on it, which is fantastic. It's not painted, it's all sculpted on. The only paint is the orange, and then with the, the well, it looks like a gray and, or, or gray and yellow tri brush effect. And then you got the flame shooting up here. Um, but what's cool, is this flame lights up. Now I'm hoping that there's a way. Oh, yep, yep. If you listen, I don't know if it's gonna pick up. There's an actual switch. Turn it on and off. So there's a little little plastic tab right there. Just pull that. Pull that. What the 
turn off these primary lights here. See if I can't. Oh, there's a little bit of it. And turn off this other one. So there you go. Light up pumpkin effect, which is that's fantastic. I think that looks so cool. That's so cool. Nice. Very nice, NECA. Love it. Love it. Then you have another alternate head of Sam. One not being shot. Uh, looks like they are a tad bit different. Still the same kind of articulation in the jaw here. You can open it up and give them that kind of look to them. Obviously sculpting is pretty much the same. I wonder... this. It kind of looks like the same, but kind of doesn't look the same. Looks like there's more black wash on the eyes here than this one. I don't know if that's, you know, battle damage, Sam. And this is like average day hanging out, Sam. I don't know. Then we got his trick or treat bag, which this, this also looks, this, oh man, this is good. Obviously you got texture on the, uh, the actual bag itself, go with blood stains. Looks like it's a nice little spot here for him to hold it in his hand. So I'll probably be putting this with, with him. And have him dragging it behind him. And you got two different pairs of hands. Looks like uh, one more to hold a sweet treat. And then one which seems to be disembodied with pumpkin guts coming out of it. Once again, the amazing, amazing sculpting on the, on the texture and all that. And then we got, I don't know if we can ever get this to focus because it's so dinky. But it is a little baby candy bar for him to carry around and eat. That's fantastic. I'm gonna, that's gonna get lost. I, I'm calling it now. And then the trademark lollipop jack-o-lantern, which is great, fantastic. And that is it for the accessories. Let's uh, move on and check out Sam himself. There you have it, Sam himself out of the box, looking mischievous, yet looking also for a good time. I do have some gripes about this. Uh, one major one is the factor that this other gripping hand that came with him is for the same side as the already gripping hand. Same thing. You have no alternate, uh, was it left hand? You only have alternate right hands, which is kind of a bummer. Because like I would have liked to display him holding a satchel and then obviously holding the candy bar or the uh, the lollipop in the other hand. Um, so that's a pretty big bummer to me. Um, but still, the character looks good. The paint's really good. Um, and we will take a look at the articulation. But we're not going to dive super deep because this is a NECA figure. And if you have purchased NECA figures before, you know that there is some trickiness to the joints. So for Sam. The articulation goes a little bit of a turn there, kind of a little bit of pivot there, not much, kind of goes down that much, goes up that much, you ain't got nothing. With the arms, rotate around about that far forward, and then the same back. Obviously, you get re restriction from the hood here. I'm sure if you put on the other pumpkin head, that maybe there is a little bit more rotation, but what's the fun in that? Looks like you have double jointed elbows, but not in the way we have come accustomed to it. It looks like there's... You can kind of see it here. Maybe. You can kind of see it in there where it's double jointed elbows, but there's a, a ball joint in there as well. So you get you get a good amount of movement. You know, you can kind of make them eat in the lollipop like that. Um, no, no articulation whatsoever in the mid zone. Oh, wait, wait a minute. This, oh, oh. This is actually like a like a like a plastic or a rubber on on an actual sculpted thing. So you keep kind of a little bit. I mean, is that really a, even enough to note? Um, then you got legs that go forward about that far. You kind of start to see creases there on the front part. So be careful with that. And then back of that far, you got I think single jointed knees. Very similar, very similar in jointage as the uh, NECA Gremlins. So if you have those, you know, be be careful. Obviously, these are smaller joints. And then you got some pivot on the foot. Like so, and that was a cap bump in the camera. And it goes about back that much. And I don't, usually they don't have a rocker. Oh, they have the rocker. Okay. So there you go. You get that rocking action. 
Uh, my joints are kind of stiff, so I'm not really pushing it too much there. Okay, for comparison wise, you have Sam next to Nightmare on Elm Street 1 Freddy. Uh, I would say that this is pretty on point, seeing as how Sam is represented as a child and Freddy a grown man and comes up to about mid waist. So, bravo, they'll look good together. And here he stands next to Pinhead from the Toony Terrors line. Obviously, not very well in scale, but still, it's the only thing I had to compare it to. Everything else is on the top shelf, and I need a ladder. And just for some yucky yucks, I put him next to the Deathlock from the Marvel Legends line that Mike just reviewed. Okay, so all in all, I think that if you are a horror fan, that this is probably a must get for you. Uh, the sculpting and obviously the attention to detail that NECA always brings to the game is there. Uh, one other gripe is that the uh, lollipop here doesn't really sit in the grip's hand at all. I didn't try popping it out for this guy. It probably will fit better in this guy because it looks like it has a little slot there for it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Use that hand. Don't use that hand. That's the back hand. This is the, the sucker hand. Now, this could be the candy hand, too. But anyways, yeah, if, if you are a horror fan, this will go great with your, your Chuckies and your Jasons and your Freddies and your Pinheads and all that other great stuff, your, your leather faces. Uh, definitely go out, pick it up, support NECA, support everything they're doing because they're doing good work. As always, you can check us out on all of our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We are always pretty active over there, and that's how you can keep up to date with all these reviews. And while it still stands, you can go and subscribe to our YouTube and get notified every time that one of these bad boys drops a review, not Sam Collectibles. And make sure to check out our podcast every Friday over on the Pod Bros Podcasting Network and anywhere else that podcast can be streamed. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.